Look, Junior, let me teach you something. You can't be sneaking outside of the house. You don't know what's dangerous out there. Anything could be waiting on you. Like, like what? Uh, Godzilla could pop up and eat you. I thought he was in Japan. Well, well he comes to Florida all the time on vacation. He does? Mm-hmm. This video starts off with Bowser announcing that no one is not allowed to eat the last donut. No. Hey, you are not eating daddy's donuts! Ah! Hey, wait a second, I am i didn't know there were other people here. Wait a- ah! No, you cannot have the donuts! They're daddy's! So no one is not allowed to eat daddy's donut- I mean, Bowser's donut. And then Chef Pee Pee tempts Bowser Jr. into eating the donut by saying stuff like live your life or something like that. So Bowser Jr. eats the donuts and gets caught red handed, though it took a while because Bowser is not that intelligent. Bowser decides to punish Bowser Jr. by keeping him locked in his room without any sort of entertainment, not even his phone, not even his toys. Then Joseph shows up and begs Junior to open the window, and Bowser Junior opens the window. Joseph tempts Junior into sneaking off, and despite all odds, Bowser Junior sneaks off. And it's revealed that Bowser paid Joseph to make sure Bowser Junior actually behaves, but clearly he doesn't behave, and so he gets kicked out of his own room and has to sleep in the couch with Chef Pee Pee. Chef Pee Pee at first is excited about this, but then when he finds out that Bowser Jr. is going to have to sleep with them, he does not like that at all. And so he goes to Bowser to tell him that there's got to be a better way. So Bowser tells Chef Pee Pee that he'll get him a bed if he watches Junior long enough so he can get the bed. And Chef Pee Pee agrees. Although, oh, you're not going to believe this, guys. But as it turns out, when Bowser said he was going to give Chef Pee Pee a bed, it was a bunk bed so that Chef Pee Pee can share a room with Bowser Jr. Yeah, you know, it's kind of a bittersweet ending, but overall, not too much bad of an ending. It's just, you know, not a good one on Chef Pee Pee's part, but hey, at least they got their room back. Overall, this episode was kind of a meh. I mean, yeah, there were some funny jokes, but the plot itself was not really interesting. I mean, think about it. This plot is basically um, a child misbehaving, and then he gets grounded, and then in the end, there's he's not grounded. I mean... There's nothing really interesting going on. I mean, it's just a way to introduce, hey, look, Bowser Jr. and Chef Pee Pee are now going to be sharing the same room, you know. Eh, there's just not much any interest in this episode. And overall, it's just a huge meh with three stars out of five. I like the Godzilla reference, though. That was a nice touch.